Stripe teams are made up of community embedded teams that bring together vaccination opportunities like this one at the Premier Iglesias Church, specifically targeted to the Latino community here in Wake County. The reason they picked this spot is because the team is using data vulnerability mapping, and that makes sure that they can look at historically marginalized communities, the rates of poverty, the rates of low access to transportation and housing. And then they also overlay that with the COVID positivity race we've seen over the last year, where there were issues in testing and making sure they target the vaccination sites are made available. Now, these community embedded teams also are making calls to local leaders and members to make sure they can, can combat any vaccine hesitancy because they have seen some now, especially with the J&J &J pause, people canceling some of their appointments. And so these people can make those one on one calls to help ease any of that hesitation. They have seen some successes. We've seen some people move from an, an absolute no, there's no way I'm going to get vaccinated to, well, I'll consider it. And then we've seen some people move from I'll consider it to I'm getting vaccinated to I'm now vaccinated. And so that's what we are um, working on, at least trying to move the needle a little bit. Shep, this eligibility expansion we're seeing on Monday comes earlier than President Biden originally planned. The program director here is saying speeding things up can be a good thing, but it often justifies injustice. And that's exactly what they're working to combat here in North Carolina. Shep. Mara Barrett, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.